Illness as a metaphor. Cancer is a battle. Depression is a dark cloud. Alzheimer's is a thief. These are just a few metaphors that have been used to describe illness. Illness has been a part of human history since the beginning of time. Whether it's the common cold or a life-threatening disease, illness affects every individual at some point in their lives. In this vlog, I'll be analyzing the impact of using metaphors to describe illness on today's society and culture. I will specifically be referring to Metaphor as Illness, a book written by Susan Giacomo in 1992. There are many cultural and societal factors that can impact the way illness is perceived. For example, in some cultures, illness is viewed as a sign of weakness or punishment for past sins. Tuberculosis was often seen as a result of a weak constitution or a moral behavior. Cancer was sometimes viewed as a punishment for repressed emotions or a lack of spiritual faith. This could create a sense of shame and isolation for individuals who are struggling with illness, making it more difficult for them to seek help and support. The Giacomo discusses the various metaphors that have been used to describe illness throughout history and argues that these metaphors not only misrepresent the nature of illness, but stigmatizes those who suffer from them. For example, the Giacomo believes that the metaphor cancer is a battle is inaccurate as it implies that those who died from the disease have somehow failed in their fight and are weaker than those who have overcome the disease. One of the key themes the Giacomo explores is the importance of understanding illness as a physical phenomenon rather than a moral one. The Giacomo argues that diseases should be studied and treated as biological processes rather than as punishments or metaphors for character flaws. By doing so, we could remove the stigma that surrounds illness and promote empathy and understanding. Despite these criticisms, metaphors continue to be a powerful tool for describing illness. They can help individuals understand and cope with the experience of illness, as well as providing a sense of community for those impacted. When discussing illness as a metaphor, it's important to approach the topic with sensitivity and respect, considering the potential impact it may have on individuals who are experiencing illness. As a young and healthy individual, it's crucial for me to recognize the limitations of my own understanding in the trauma of illness. Ultimately, anyone approaching illness as a metaphor should prioritize empathy, understanding, and respect for the lived experience of others. In conclusion, the use of metaphors to describe illness is a complex issue that has both benefits and drawbacks. While metaphors can be a powerful tool for understanding and coping with illness, they can also reinforce harmful stereotypes and create a sense of shame around illness. As a community, we should approach illness as a metaphor with empathy and do our best to provide a supportive culture for those that suffer.